Hey everybody, my goodness, I have a drama filled story for you, so I cannot wait to get into this. Her intake form, which she said why she was coming to see DNA Angels, was basically, I was raised by my grandmother, I didn't know who my biological father was, I met my birth mom when I was 14 years old, she couldn't remember anything, so I'm just searching for my birth father. So welcome back to Client Stories with Amy. So this is Ashley's case and she's working it and she immediately let the client know, hey, I'm getting started on your case. I sorted your matches following the Dana Leeds method. So I have everything separated, ready to go. And just to let you know, if you didn't know already, your birth father is going to be of Mexican descent and the client didn't know that. So that was a su first surprise for her. So she at least got one little clue about who her birth father would be that she didn't have previously. So it's like little breadcrumbs on this case. So. She was in there working, uh, Ashley was in there working, trying to get everything into the tree, and she nailed down Grandma pretty quickly, and Grandma had three sons. Let me tell you about these sons. One son sadly passed away. One son was incarcerated, and the last son was out and about, but he had a pretty hefty record, but we were able to get in contact with him. He was talking with everybody, trying to help as much as he can. He um, actually was on a phone call with our client and our client three-wayed mom into the phone call. Mom and suspected birth father, possible uncle were conversing back and forth with the client there and it came to find out mom and this person remembered each other. They had a whole history. They remembered being together. So this looks like it's birth dad. She, client's excited. She's so happy. She's ordering a DNA test. He agrees to take it. He takes the test. They wait results come back and you're not gonna believe this he's not the birth father it's one of his other brothers he was an uncle match so now that's where this case is in limbo sorry about that my phone cut out for some reason but this is this case is now in limbo who looked like a good candidate good strong candidate for a birth father mom remembers him he remembers mom they sat there and had this whole conversation about knowing each other DNA cut test comes back as an uncle match so that means one of his brothers is the birth father. So the one that either passed away or the one that is incarcerated. So there's really no way to DNA test anybody at this point in time. So maybe to be continued, I'll keep you guys updated if I hear anything else, but that's it for today. I hope everybody is hunkering down with this massive storm system coming in. I'm at work for half a day. Um, the winds are supposed to come later on today and I'm hoping power doesn't go out, but if it does, we're prepared. It is what it is, but stay safe, stay warm. I hope everybody hunkers down and just enjoys this little bit of a ride at home on the couch, nice and warm. I hope that's what everybody's able to do. Nobody has to be out in the mist, but that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.